once again, it is Friday, and in the comments, I've been seeing you guys ask a ton to do a video on the rarest guitars that we have right now, which I think would be really interesting. That's what we're gonna do today. I do wanna note, technically, if we were to do the rarest guitars that we have, it would be whatever like luthier, one-off stuff we have, is this technically gonna be the stuff that is the rarest by definition. But I know that's probably not what you guys are most interested in. You guys wanna know what is like the most uncommon sought after stuff from the big brands that we all love that we have. And so I made a list today of the top five things that we have in the shop right now that are really cool, hard to find, and by all means, just cool rare guitars. Let's get into it. So we're gonna start right here. This is a Martin D1228, and this is the first one of these that I've ever seen. About two weeks ago at this point, someone sent us an Instagram message asking, hey, do you guys want to check out a guitar I have for sale? And of course we did. And they started sending us pictures of this and pretty quickly we worked out a deal on it. They sent it our way and you can actually see this came in I think the day before we filmed the last video which you should go check out which is like a day in the life of what we do here at Flash Flood. And this guitar came in and I quickly noticed that there was a headstock repair here that had not been noted. I, you know, I wish we knew about that as it would have factored into the price. Uh, but fortunately we were able to sort that out with the seller and we got to keep this really cool guitar and I'm very excited to bring it to you guys. It's not even listed yet as of making this video. We're just getting it on the bench and just checking it out. Everything sounds really, really good. Fortunately, this was a really solid repair. We love it. I think one thing that's kind of interesting is this is a rare guitar on its own, but I brought this one over to our luthier, Tom Jacobs, and I showed him the headstock break and he said, hey, just want to make sure that this is all sound and that the repair for this crack is sound and everything. And he said this was actually the first time he'd ever seen a Martin with a headstock break. That's pretty rare on its own. All around, very cool, very unique guitar. Very sought after for being just, you know, a D28 with 12 strings. That's pretty cool. Overall, very cool find. All right, guitar number four. This one came to us recently through an email. And as soon as we saw pictures, I said, you're gonna need to send this our way. This is a 1988 Fender USA Stratocaster, and it's got some very interesting specs that make this one really, really hard to find. This is very similar to a Strat Plus, and I initially thought, oh, this must be a Strat Plus. It's got the lace sensor pickups, it's of the right color, it's of this year, it's got the locking strap buttons, but it's just got a bone nut. There's no metal nut up here. I thought, okay, what's going on here? And what I figured out is this is actually a Fender Stratocaster Deluxe, right around the transition period where they started making the Fender Strat Pluses. So this got almost all the specs of a Strat Plus, except the nut. And I guess there wasn't very many made with this exact layout, but this guitar is totally stock. It comes with the original hard case and it's a really, really cool find. All right, so I couldn't narrow it down to just one for number three, so I'm actually gonna do two of these. These are both Fender Japan exclusives of varying rarity. But this first one is was made this year. This is a 2023 Ishibashi Music Custom Shop Order Jaguar with some really, really cool specs. I love the black pickups matching the rest of this guitar. It's cool, it's classy, it's simple, and this is kind of a color combo you don't see a lot. Nice dark rose with board and nice guard. Really cool specs overall, and this thing just plays so, so well. This is genuinely one of the nicest Jaguars we've had in a long time. And this is not only a cool guitar aesthetically, but it's an absolute workhorse. And the second one of these is not from 2023. This one is from 2012. And this is actually cool because a lot of people have been reposting this one all over the internet. So it's, it's a very hard to find guitar, of course. This is a Fender Telecaster custom reissue, 62 reissue, bell bound, but it's got this really cool green quilt top. They only made this one for one year in 2012 and in very limited quantities. They've also done a red one, which was cool, but this is the only green one I had ever seen. And as soon as I saw it, like all these, I knew we had to have it. And I'm sure it's not gonna be sticking around the shop long.
All right, so number two is actually right behind me on the wall here. And I think you guys have probably seen this in at least one other video, as it's a pretty cool piece. This is a 1998 Gibson Flying V, 67 reissue style with the mahogany body and an all gold hardware. This is already a pretty rare guitar on its own, but what I think is really interesting is there was a limited edition 98V model that they made that had the standard Gibson limited edition emblem, but they didn't put it on this one for some reason. You can see there, it's just like any other V, but this has the exact specs of that limited edition model. So very unique. I know the previous owner did swap out the knobs. So these are not the original knobs on this one. Nonetheless, very, very cool piece. It's the only one I've ever seen without that logo there. And even the ones with that logo are still pretty crazy hard to find, so. Very cool V, we love it. So number one is probably the rarest, but definitely the most sought after guitar in this video. Before we get to that, I want to do want to talk about a couple honorable mentions. The first honorable mention is this Fender International Series Stratocaster reissue. They did this as an exclusive Japan line, and I was really tempted to include this with the other two Japan exclusives, but this one's just a little different, so I didn't include it. But Fender Japan was nice enough to actually have a lot of these guitars for sale over in the US. But for some reason, the Capri Orange did not make it to the States, and to my knowledge, is no longer in production anywhere. So We've been fortunate enough to find a Capri Orange one that was made of very low production numbers. I actually found this in person when I was over in Japan and I have never seen one anywhere but Japan. And at that, I think it was the only Capri Orange guitar I saw in the whole international series anywhere, whether it was the internet, whether it was actually shopping at a lot of great guitar shops in Japan. We brought it back and I think it's the only one for sale as of making this video. The second and final honorable mention I have is a Gibson Billy Joe Armstrong signature that the serial dates to 2019. Now this model was made in really low production numbers and they're all said to have been made within 2018, but for some reason this one dates to 2019. I'm sure it was the same production run. Nonetheless, this was a cool guitar. This was the only time they did a humbucker instead of the classic P100 that they put in most of the Billy Joe Armstrong signatures. And this was just kind of an odd guitar overall. I personally really enjoy it, but I definitely do prefer the standard junior that you usually see for the Billy Joe Armstrong model. I actually am fortunate enough to have an original 2006 one. I love that guitar, I play it all the time. And the new reissue that Gibson made recently is really cool. We checked out, I think, both colors when we went to the Gear Garage in Nashville, which we did show in a video a few months ago. So if you haven't seen that video, definitely go check it out. An interesting guitar from that run. There's many different Billy Joe Armstrong signatures, and this is certainly not the rarest, which is why it wasn't part of the list, but this is definitely a pretty hard to find guitar and something that I really enjoy. Number one, what could this be? What have we been holding out on you? Let's check this out. This one just came in. I've had a few different people look at it, and we finally just started figuring out exactly what's going on here, but this thing's pretty unique. So here it is. This is a 1967 Fender Jaguar in one of the rarest colors they ever made this in. This was actually ice blue metallic, except it's aged in this really cool and really unique green color here. So I was really curious what the story was when we first found this one because I was like, has this been oversprayed? Like, what's going on here? This doesn't look like any other ice blue metallic anything I've seen. But you can actually see spots here where the original color is peeking through, but this is the original finish. I consulted a few different people on this, as well as did my own kind of research here, and the conclusion I was able to come to was that this is all the original finish, but that the lacquer has just yellowed so much that it's actually turned green, and where that top coat has kind of worn off, it, you can still see that original color. And then if you come up here and look at the headstock, it's this really cool green, and it's aged much slower than the rest, as the plastic from the decal has you know, give it a little bit of UV protection to the finish that's just under that kind of clear plastic. Very unique aging here. This is kind of what vintage instruments are all about because every one of them is going to be totally different. Every guitar has gone through a completely different story since it was made, in this case, you know, 50 years ago at this point. So very special piece. Very grateful to have found this in such original condition. And, you know, as much as I would love for this to be just this beautiful ice blue metallic like you're used to seeing, it's actually really cool to have one that's this unique because no other example of this guitar looks like this. Finding a nice blue metallic Jaguar, crazy on its own, but to find one that's aged in this way, it's like this might be the only one. This definitely is the number one rarest guitar that we have right now.
As always, thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch these videos. Please let me know down below in the comments which one of these was your favorite. And let me know if you guys have any crazy rare guitars in your own collections. I always love reading all you guys' stories, so I appreciate you guys leaving them there. As of making this video, all of these guitars are available for sale at phosphatagear.com. So I've made a curated collection of just these guitars. So if you want to see if any of them are still available at the time that you're watching, Click the link down below and see what's still here. Check them out in more detail. As always, thank you for spending your Friday evening or whatever time you decide to watch this video out with us. We appreciate it and we'll see you in another video soon. Bye.